Hey there, um, sofa bound on the afternoon of February 26th. Um, actually had a pretty good morning, was able to get some housework done and um, had a visitor, uh, my new found friend who I met in the uh, waiting room at the doctor's office of the surgeon that I'm getting this uh, explant done. She stopped over to visit for a while. We went for a um, nice slow walk around the block and then visited for a couple hours. Um, but as soon as she left, I was uh, super tired and I laid down for a solid, probably over an hour nap and then um, basically crawled out of bed to crawl onto the sofa and have not left here. So I'm incredibly weak now. I have... Um, an upset stomach, but it's in a different way of nausea. Like it's more of a, a clenching in my stomach. I just feel super sick. Um, very, very weak. My muscles are very, very fatigued. That's probably from the walk. And um, the humming that I get in my inner ears, if I'm just sort of laying here, it's very, very loud, very, very intense. So I just feel really uh, crappy. And it just amazes me when I think about how um, not long ago, even though I was struggling with pain and fatigue, I was still exercising, um, working with my clients throughout the day, and being able to get through. And I've not, I mean, it's the afternoon after just some, you know, activity this morning and visiting, um, I'm just done. I'm just wasted from that. So I just, uh, I still am just amazed. I don't know why, cause I've been living in this for a while, but I'm just still amazed at how, um, sick I am getting and how depleted I am. But on a good note, um, Elisa, my friend, she looks amazing. She's glowing from the inside out. She said she's felt um, better than she has in over 10 years. Um, a lot of her symptoms um, are gone. And um, she's only three weeks post explant. So I can't imagine what she's going to be like, you know, in a few months and then a few years of having this, um, the, the toxins out of her body. She has absolutely no regret. Um, and she was one that when she made the decision to explant was terrified of how she was going to look and the insecurities and all that that came with it. And, um, she said that it, there's, she looks in the mirror and she just doesn't care that she sees herself as beautiful, which she is and, um, how she feels there's just, there's no comparison. So I am very hopeful, um, you know, kind of count down to explant. I am so grateful I have her in my life um, as someone who has been through this journey and can understand um, the uh, roller coaster ride that I'm currently on and what's to come. Because she said there are good and bad days still to come. And I'm thrilled that we can go through this together because we're so close in our explant dates um, that we can ride, ride this out together. That is huge. We are both very strong in our faith, so I do believe God put us together um, for a reason, and um, so, you know, yet another blessing in this horrific trial of life that I'm in, um, I wouldn't change it for anything. It's hard, I'm struggling, but I will tell you over and over again, I would not change any of this for anything because um, what I'm gaining from this experience in friendship, in self-awareness, it's all worth it. But I want to keep track of how bad it got because I do want to remember on those down days, I've got these videos to look back on and see that uh, I did the right thing. So that's it for today. And hopefully tomorrow is a better one. I just won't do quite so much in the morning. <laughs> okay, bye.